Excuse me. Uh, you have paper for emeralds and then em You are one good villager. We are coming back here. Wow, guys, we just got. I I I just want to make sure that it was real and I didn't fake it. It's seriously an enchanting a mending book. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode from the world of the Landra. Today guys we got a fair amount to talk about. Yes, we're actually gonna do some talking. We are still gonna be doing some stuff in this world. We're gonna be doing some more custom biome work. Um but yeah, we're gonna be mainly talking because I got some interesting stuff to talk to you guys about. Let's let's just quickly first off, before we 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 do our custom biome, let's have a quick look at what we got in the last episode. So you may remember that we went on a bit of mining and we got all this stuff. I've actually been back a little bit more um, to get some coal and I, I've decided to use my silk touch pick which we got to mine that and we also got a um, so yeah we got we got our silk touch pick with them breaking three efficiency four and we also got a second one pick with efficiency four and breaking three. Not a bad haul for Levels. Um, I've also done a bit of clearing out of this because it was all over the place. Um, now there is actually one last thing that I want to get quickly before we, we can work. Um, let's just go there. We'll go sticks and we'll make ourselves a diamond, diamond axe which will take up our Silk touch pick at him um, position because we don't need that at the moment. We've got a fair amount of wood too we, that we don't need. We'll keep that. Uh, let's see, that's going. Let's put the iron in there. And I'll put the rest in there. Okay, so we have these. We also need our hoe. There's our hoe. There's our hoe. Okay, and let's, let's come out here. Looks like the sun's about to go down. Now I had another idea for this by the way. I want to see if we can add a bit of concrete in. I'm thinking some green or some grey. Both aren't hard to make. But yeah. Um, so, what, I, what did I want to talk to you guys about? Well, I want to talk to you about a few ideas that I've had for this series. Um, I'm not talking about any dramatic changes. I'm, well, they, they are sort of dramatic. But you, you'll understand when I talk, tell you then. So, I was thinking today about how a lot of YouTubers sometimes do things for charities. They do this sort of thing where they will play a game, say Minecraft, and when people donate, they will um, give the, pers the YouTubers something in game that they can use to make themselves either a little more OP or a little better at something. And I was thinking, I want to do something like that, except I, I don't have the, the the goal of doing this for a charity. And I'm not talking about getting you guys to donate real money. What I'm thinking is that we use a little system that I've come up with that I think is going to be pretty cool. Basically, how it works is, every week, I will go to my YouTube stats, and I will... Go through my my the stats of my YouTube channel for the last week and work out how many views, how many um, subscribers I've had, etc. And based off that, we will get what's called coins in game. Well, not in game, but like the for x amount of views, for x amount of um, subscribers, I will get x amount of coins. That may change, like the amount I get may vary over the um depending on how many people subscribe and such because we don't want it to be too OP but at this point we're barely getting anyone subscribing and what viewers haven't has view time hasn't been great um so yeah that's the idea that I have um and then with the coins that you'll get you'll be able to purchase things in game whether they be a name tag or a Maybe maybe we could set up a system where you can get like uh, effects or like haste or um, super jump or strength or something similar, um, and you'll get that for an X amount of 
minutes. So that would be pretty helpful, I reckon. Um, we could try that out. I'm just collecting some some gravel here, but I'm also going to make it look good. So can turf around this area. Now I think that sounds a little loud, and I apologize if that is the case. I'm going to drop it down to 35. Okay, so yeah, that's the plan that I have. That's the idea that I had, and. I wanted to. I'm, I'm, I came up with it because I've been thinking a little bit about bringing others onto this series, into this series, because I'm not that good at custom builds, and I know there's a few people out there that would look at the series and be like, I want to join it. Um, and I was thinking, how do I make it different to other series? So we don't want it to be too easy so that people get their items straight off and they're like well we all really is left now is to mine and that's not really exciting um but i still want it to be a bit of a exploration sort of thing too so we could we could also add like a little bit of storyline because this is a land show. this is a world that i'm making in real life as well a universe so, sort of as a custom universe that's not custom, what am I saying? As a universe that I'm developing on my own. Um, so I'm thinking we could use some of that backstory to create an actual story for the series. Again, not too sure about that. Possibly could do, could turn out to be a horrible idea. But at least it would give people something, give the people that I let join something to um, so we got to think about that a little. Let's let's just come in here because this is going to be our first concrete build that we do. Let's grab two rows. Um, I forget how we make green because I really want green to be honest. Is there a way to find out how to make green? Orange, light grey. Well, we could try some light grey. Green is cactus, isn't it? Let's let's try light grey, shall we? We'll grab two light greys. Okay, so we have clay, where's our concrete? There it is. So we have yellow, we have red, and we have light grey. Let's make some light grey. We'll also make, we won't make any of that. Okay, so let's come out here. We're going to try something with this, this quickly. Because I'm, I'm interested. Um, but yeah, so that's my idea for the series. And I wanted, I, I, I'm kind of interested in that, how that might turn out. Um, it, it could turn out to be pretty cool actually, bringing others on. We're just turning it into concrete power, turning concrete powder into concrete by the way. Um, so yeah, I want to hear what you guys think about that. Do you think it's a good idea to bring others on? Do you like it a lot? Um, what do you think about my current coin system? It's a little too light. Maybe we could use it as a border for the ocean or something, but for that, possibly not. Um, but yeah, that's the coinage idea, and and I've also I, I do would like to bring others on. Um, I've got a few people that I've been looking at and thinking about, and who knows, we may bring them on sooner or later. Um, but yeah, that's my idea. I, I'm not sure whether I'll do it or not, just because it, it will take a little bit of time to um, set up and, well, there's a little issue of money, because if I do it, I have to get the server, and I, I suppose I could piggyback on the server I already have and just take advantage of that and make a new world and everything. This copies of this world over. Um, I don't know. I'd have to. I'm interested in how this will look, by the way. I want to see how this will look under water. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But I also want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about that idea? Do you think I should give it a go? Ooh, looks like good underwater. Um, yeah, so do you guys think I should give it a go? Do you think I should try? it out just to see how things go with this system um, and also do you think I should invite others on? That's like my primary question. But yeah guys, 
I'm just gonna keep going like this for a little bit. We're gonna. I really feel like this really works out. Let's just come over here. It looks almost like the clay. And that could be an interesting effect. It's just. It looks quite nice under the water, actually. Let's just grab a bit more clay. I mean, it's slightly darker than the clay, so it creates this sort of contrast, but I, I, I don't know, I, I don't I like it. So yeah, that was just the thought I had, and I wanted to see what you guys thought. So, like, just to recap, what I'm thinking is we bring in some sort of currency system based on chip stats, and um, then we can have, like some fix or maybe a rare an item we really need or like for example I'm trying to get vines right now and I'm hoping that we get to go to the nether at some um to uh, I'm hoping we find a jungle at some point so that would be helpful if we were able to get um a jungle biome or maybe if we just were able to like spawn in uh um fine that'd be really helpful or maybe if we need like oh, i'm breaking it too quickly that's what happens when you get a pick like this i don't know we'll have to work it out would have to work it out but i like the idea Um, so yeah guys, I'm just going to play to try and work on this concrete a bit more. Um, then we'll try some stuff with the um, with our custom biome, our land and planes, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm kind of getting a bit confused today, I apologize for that. Let's go there light grey okay the bottom of this colored How does this look, guys? How does it? How do you think it looks? It kind of creates some a little bit of a. It makes it look like it's deeper down, it's, and I like that feel. I like that feel. It's a nice feel. Then these break it up a lot. These these aren't so good. Let's just grab that and that. So those kind of destroy the. Uh, the the idea I was going for, but other than that, it looks quite good. Let's just go like that. Yeah, it looks like it's deeper than it actually is. It's nice. Um. Okay, so so we're gonna work a bit more on our custom biome, our land dream planes. Um. And I think I want to add a bit of green into that. I'm thinking from concrete blocks, so we're gonna have to go and find a um, there's a, and I'm pretty sure there's one out that way, but you can't, don't quote me on that, let's, let's just drop this, some of this stuff off, don't need it, and if we took it we might get in danger and get killed, which I'd rather not have happened. Let's just put this clay in here, we're going to use it a bit later for our, um, for the, what am I trying to say, for the town where you found way over there, we're going to turn that into a real town. I haven't yet shown you that to be honest, maybe I should. But yeah, so we're going to head off into that direction, because if I remember rightly, there's a desert biome. I hope I remember them rightly. It would be a pain if I wasn't. Hello piggies. Guys are cool. 
guys are okay. You you're fine by my standards. So just so everyone can can get an idea of what I'm planning on doing, we came from over there. So our road is coming past that little hill you can see in the distance. What I wanted to do is come round one. It will diverge. One route will go off to the town that's out that way. The other will come in here and go into the city that I'm planning on building here. That's probably why I'm bringing the others on because I'm not good at building cities. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And hopefully it'll work well. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this city, but I think I want it to be like the main city, the main hub. Um, so I'll have to do a bit of looking into what names I could use, because I kind of want it something distinctive, but also works with like the Landrian language which I'm writing, and also the um, idea of this land, like what it's what it's there for. So yeah, we gotta work that out a bit too. We got some horses here. We could try and tame them. Okay, so no, it was a snowbine that I saw. I need a desert. Oh, there's a village here. Hello. We got another town center. How are you guys all going today? Good, good. I I want I would like to see what what trades you have. String for emeralds, that's not bad. And then emeralds for arrows. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's not a bad trade. Excuse me. Uh, you have paper for emeralds and then em. You are one good villager. We are coming back here. Wow, guys, we just got. I I I just want to make sure that it was real and I didn't fake it. It's seriously an enchanting a mending book. Wait, 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 wait. What do you have? You don't have anything unlocked. You. I I. Thank you. <laughs> There's another village over there. You know, this is like the sixth village that I found. I think I've found f three or four off camera, and the rest have been like on camera. <laughs> Let's check this one out, shall we? See, we've got a wolf guarding it. These guys have got domesticated pets. Hello, you guys all seem like farmers, I don't mind that. How are you? You do string for emeralds and coal for emeralds and fish for fish. Okay, I mean, you're a fisherman, so I suppose that's okay. Leather worker, not great. You. Oh, you're that fisherman. Yeah, not great. Ooh, this will this will do nicely. We're gonna grab some of this. So we want biomes like this where we can pick up some of this stuff. I mean, this would be a start, but if we got some vines, it would be even better. Well, I think that was successful. Three stags and three pieces of moss stone. Successful? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's continue on. Let's hit down here. We can come back here because I think there's a bit more way out that way. But yeah, we we don't want to get sidetracked from our goal. I don't want to actually give up, but I know I probably should. Otherwise we might end up losing our way back.
Okay, is there anything over here? And then if not, we will turn back. Nope. Okay, let's let's head back this way then. Let's go in a little bit of a L shape, I guess. There you guys, I, I, going back to what we we're talking about, the um, bring others on. I, I'm looking for suggestions of who else I should bring on. Um, I've got a few ideas of myself, and they pro won't. They probably won't all like. I won't let them all join in one go because it would be nice to spread things out, see who would, who, who fits in, who doesn't, and such. Um, but yeah, if you have a suggestion of who I should bring on, um, put it, either put a description in the description box below or join my Discord and you can directly message me yourself. Um, there's a link in the description box below for my Discord. Is that another village? Is that another... that's another village. Is it? It's not like that is another village. I like is it it's not like any village I've seen. But it is. So what is that? That's four villages this episode? Four? Three? I think that's four. Could be wrong about that. Okay, let's have a look. Hello, this is a nice place. This is near some nice you guys are all very good looking, your farmers. You've got that whole trade again. Got books in there. Hello, how are you? Efficiency three, not bad. Not bad. You've got a good trade. A couple of you and I could get quite rich. You, how how are you doing? You got you're not that great. How about you? I can't open your second trade. It's fine. <sighs> this day place looks quite nice actually. See what do you have in your here? Diamonds. I will take that. You can have. You can have uh, sapling. And I will take the bread. I don't need. Do we want alum? Al Is it alum? I think it's alum. Don't need mushrooms. Let's take that. Um, we don't need seeds. We're gonna. We're gonna pick up a bit of ice. I don't think I have any yet, and it could be very helpful. Hello, you two. You got white wool for emeralds, and you've got white wool for emeralds. Problem is, one of their traders is a lot better than the other. Let's switch that for that. Look at this. Now, here's another thing I was thinking about that I wanted to bring up with you guys. What do you think about us doing underground custom biomes also? So, like, turning this into something. I was thinking at first that it was going to take a little too much time, and we also needed to need to collect all the ores that we would have in those sort of caves. But then, if we implemented this coin system, which I think I will do, we could set that up as one of the things we could buy. I'm still trying to work out all the prices and such that everything would cost, but could be kind of cool. I don't know. I'll have to do a bit of thinking about that one. I mean, mind you, Landry is going to be mostly above ground stuff, stuff and um stuff. The only things that might have an underground aspect would be like mines and maybe some cellars if there's like a secret entrance slash exit and maybe like sewers because I do want I want this to be a fully functional place as well and I'm hoping that we don't I want it to be feel kind of modern not too much of this um, medieval style stuff like this is going to be a dirt road down the back of nowhere and then the city will still be like a medieval style city, but it'll have like realistic roads and such. So that's my plans. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to work out quite well. So how about we finish up today by going to the nether and by, um, sorry, not going to the nether, what am I saying? By doing a bit more work on our base. Let's 
just click to get us some of the items we'll need. We could we haven't actually tried different crops. Uh, let's drop off the ice. Where can we put the ice? We'll grab some of that. Go put um, grab the dandelions. Don't have any red flowers left. Got more than enough moss stone now. Um, drop off the sand. Pick up the grass. Oh, we do have some red flowers left. We've got rose bush. Uh, we'll drop that off. Grab all we need. I think that's everything. So I reckon I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't commented, if you have any comments or suggestions or um, ideas, make sure you comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, of course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, lastly, but not least, I want to see at least five likes on this video. Let's see if we can get five likes. That'd be awesome. And I want to hear your suggestions and feedback on my ideas bringing the coin system. Of course, it won't be virtual coins, it won't be in game coins. Um, and also bring in other people to join us in the series. I want to hear what you think. And if you have suggestions for who I could bring in, of course, go ahead and write them in the comment section below. Or Join my Discord group, link in the description box below, and you can directly put message them to me. So guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more coming to me, coming from me, including the start of that money coin system. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye. Bye!